Hey, how's it going, you guys? Mike Schwartz here for GamePimp.tk, and today what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create hotkeys using jQuery. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually getting uh, set up to create the hotkeys, okay? Because I've had a couple people just were confused, didn't know what to do on how to get set up. So I thought I would start the tutorial from where I start out before I begin the tutorial. Okay, so obviously you're gonna need to get uh, jQuery. Okay, so we're gonna get the jQuery hotkeys actually first. Okay, so I'm gonna download the JS file here. Okay, and the URL is right here if you guys want to download it at code.google.com slash p slash js dash hotkeys. Okay, so that has been downloaded. I'm also going to head to jQuery.com and download the, uh, obviously jQuery from here as well. And I'm just going to press control S to download the page. And uh, there we go. And of course, this is the... <laughs> programming blog I'm on. I just close that and erase everything. So I'm going to add these two files and I'm going to rename this to okay so there's that and then I'm just going to rename this as just jQuery. Okay so just open up my browser. I'm going to add in the index.html file and before we begin let me point out something real quick that the hotkeys that we can use we cannot use hotkeys that are built in the browser like I can't use control T okay because that opens up a new tab also I can't use control L because that will just go to the URL bar okay uh, control W obviously closes that tab so you can't use hotkeys that are implemented into like the browser here okay but you can still use you know custom hotkeys like control Q control Y Okay, not control R because that refreshes the page refreshes the page, but control Y you can. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin how to create hotkeys in jQuery. So let's go ahead and add in our HTML tags, we're gonna add in our head tags, we're gonna add in our title tags, we're just gonna have this say jQuery hotkey because we're only gonna create one hotkey close our head tags we're gonna add in our uh, our files in just a bit okay save that real quick we're gonna add script type equals text slash javascript and we're gonna add an src equal and what this means is that we're uh, adding in the jQuery file okay and we're gonna add jQuery.hotkeys which is the file we downloaded for the hotkeys effect and now just script type equals text slash javascript slash script document dot ready function And now what we're going to do is we're going to use bind, okay, to create this effect. So dot bind. And what we need to do is we need to state that we're going to create a key down. And when a key is pressed, we need to specify what the key will be. So I'm going to actually use just control Q for this uh, hotkey. And we're actually going to need to create a function, okay. Okay, and the reason why we have to create a function is because we need to state that when this this hotkey is pressed it needs to do something because right now it's not doing that we need to tell it to do something so we're just gonna have to open up an alert box why because it's the easiest thing you can do and all we're gonna just have it say is you found the hotkey you found the hotkey not you found the hotkey there we go F5 to refresh and let's press control Q and there we go Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and feel free to check out GimPim's Facebook fan page at GimPim.tk slash Facebook. Feel free to check out GimPim.tk for more GIMP tutorials, coding tutorials and that. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Alright, my name is Mike Schwartz from GimPim.tk and I'll catch you later for another GIMP tutorial, web development tutorial, whatever I feel inclined to do at the time. 
and uh, as you guys can see it's 11:43 p.m. so I'm gonna go to bed all right take care you guys good night